okay for the next uh, part of the puff pastry, we've got a um, pancake that I've made. It's straightforward, equal quantities of uh, panco pancake, flour, egg, and milk. We've got some sea bass fillets. It's been trimmed and pin boned. Uh, it's been trimmed a little bit off the edge of there. Um, it's going to fold in the cut down slightly nicking into near the tail end and fold that over. Just put a little bit of blanched leek and carrot on top. Get the second fillet. Again I'm just going to trim a little bit off where the belly was there and a little bit where the fin is. Again, just nicking a little, little, little bit of this one's still a little bit shorter. I'm going to oppose that the other way around so that we've got two fillets coming each way. Then I'm going to take the pancake and then roll that completely over to form a little parcel like that. Okay, so we've got like a pancake roll with fish, simple terms, and um, vegetables inside there. So I'm going to unwrap that one second because one thing I haven't done is put my seasoning in there. So a little bit of salt and pepper. It's on this nice Himalayan pink sea salt. So touch inside there. A little bit on the side of the, the fish fillet. The pepper. Build that back up again as it was. Season again. Sea salt. And then form that back into a little parcel again, pancake roll. Okay. So the idea here is that the pancake is going to stop the steam and coming out so much from the fish as it bakes in the oven. We've got the puff pastry that we had about a third of the puff pastry backs that we made. So going to have a base and a lid again. I might just roll the base a little bit longer at this stage. Just a tiny bit longer. That will shrink back when I lift it up. And we'll do the same thing with the top. So a little bit longer. Both ways. So put the base back down again. Lay the pancake fish on top. Just tucking those ends in where possible. The key thing now is also to get this onto a baking tray. Yeah, we can refrigerate it on paper, um, but you can't be not moving it too much. So, if we put onto a baking tray in advance, one mistake there, I shouldn't have put a rolling pin on this blue board. Okay, so, we've got our base there on a baking tray with a baking mat. Let's get an egg the very outside of this, really to stick down the top when it goes on. Can then ease over the top. Just pull out those edges a little bit. Really stretching that onto there. Okay, so that's got this nice pie almost that we made here. Traditionally this is like a, a coolie back of um, salmon, is the French term for it. Because you might put grated boiled egg in there and some rice in there and things. We just put some vegetables in there today. So what we are going to do now is I'm going to just going to trim this edge very carefully. Obviously what I don't want to do is to be cutting our mat. So I'm going to cut down here. And then cut out 
This one's got a bit of a tail that side. Same on this side here. So preferably do this on the piece of baking paper on a tray because then you're not going to cut into your baking mat. Then go around the front part. Okay, trimming away. I'm just going to nick into this edge here. The fins might be slightly out of place. My fish might have a little bit of a fatter head. I think we'll also have a, another little fin towards the back, so just trim that piece off there. Okay, and trim on the side. So. So we're going to put that in the fridge for five minutes just to set up a little bit and we'll bring that back out and then we will then look at decorating it some more.